Welcome to Dynamics 365 personal charts just the way you want them. So we've got a list of all orders here with some test data and what we saw last time is the ability to change your charts and change the views but this time we're going to learn about creating new charts. So within the chart pane here I'm going to click the ellipsis of three vertical dots and click new. This opens up a new tab and this is where we can start to design the charts. Now I'm going to start a, a really basic one to begin with and I just want to um, sum the sell price um, so I've chosen sell price from the drop down here and I've chosen sum and I'm going to have this as a, uh, a column chart. So I'm just going to leave it as it is set already. And then I need a field along the X axis to act as um, something to group them by. So if I was to group it by order ID or by name, I'd end up with too many categories. So a good one to use here if you single currency is just currency. So if you group it by currency, you get a really nice little visual builder as you go um, for what your chart is going to look like. So we can see here that we've got um, the sum of the sell price um, for pound sterling as our currency. And what we like to do is um, it's, it's really good because it automatically names a chart for you. So you can see sell price by currency. You might want to change that to turnover by currency or just turnover. I'm going to just call it sell price and I'm just going to put call. So that when there's a list of charts, I know this is a column chart basically. Click save and close. It just reminds you that the chart editor was opening a new window. I'm going to click OK and you can see it's opened our new chart for us. And it's as simple as that. The trick is to understand how to use the editor and understand how to work with your data. So we'll go through a couple more examples now. Um, so I'm going to click on the uh, three dots and click on new and show you a couple of different options. So this time we're going to group by uh, count the, the number of orders. Okay, we're going to do it in two different ways. And if I'm going to do the same by currency this time, then we can see that in the chart preview, we've got 77 orders. But some of those in the name field had blanks. So if you wanted to count the non-empty records, that's what that does. We can see there's now 64 records where they've got a name against them. Now there's not, that's not particularly helpful in this scenario, but this is where you can apply this theory to other parts of your data. So for example, if you wanted to find the number of account records where they didn't have a postcode, that would be one way to potentially achieve that. What we're going to do now is uh, try some other charts within this builder. So we're going to change this and we're going to go for uh, sell price again. And we want to find our top five customers now. So I'm going to change um, the, uh, the uh, X axis to customer. And I'm going to change this from a column chart to a bar chart. I'm going to click this icon here, which is the top icon. So I'm going to uh, choose the top five customers. You could change uh, in the custom. You could change it to 10, for example. I'm just going to go for the top five. And we can see here that we've got some, uh, some records coming through. You can see it's also renamed the chart for us. So top five, sell price by customer. So I'm just going to call this top five customers. And it's a bar chart. Save and close. And there we go. We've got another chart for us now. And you can see within here that it's useful to have the hyphen bar and the hyphen call because it just shows you on the two that we've created sell price call and top five customers bar what the type of chart is that we're working with. OK, so the final one we're going to cover off here is working with dates. So I'm going to have sell price again. And I'm going to sum it and I'm going to have it as a line chart this time. And this time I'm going to focus on the order date. When you choose a date field, um, you can choose how you want to group on that date field. Do you want to do it by the day, the week, the month, the quarter, the year? So I'm going to have this um, by month and I'm going to call this monthly sales. And this is going to be a line chart. Save and close. And I've got my monthly sales now. And I could click one of those segments like we've seen previously and filter the records on the right hand side to show the related records. Just click back off that filter. And this time I'm going to change, uh, create a new chart. And I'm going to do it as a, um, as a uh, yearly sales, annual sales. So click on new, go for sell price again. And we'll go for a line chart. And then we'll go for the order date once again. This could be created dates, modified dates, whatever makes sense within your data. And I'm going to do it by calendar year as opposed to fiscal year. OK, and we've now got annual sales and it's a line chart. 
click save and close and there we go we've got our trend for uh, sales by year um, there's a lot more you can do. Um, it's well worth playing around with all the different options. Um, obviously, you can use pie charts as well to show ratios. Um, but we've covered off there the bar charts, the column charts, the line charts, naming conventions, um, working with sell prices, looking at the top five records. You can also do the bottom five records as well. Um, and I encourage you to, to replay this video over and get some practice in um, and get a real good feel for how to work with personal charts within the system.